But now, yes, let's continue. Thank you. And when was the last time you have seen uh, a dolphin? That was the last time. The reason for why I like that dolphin. The reason, the reason and details for why I like dolphin. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Uh, so my point is uh, the for the uh, overall, I think the uh, uh, it would be easy for the uh, for the human being to use our language uh, to communicate with dolphin after the training. Yeah. Wow, all right. That's that's the first time I heard about someone who likes dolphins. Okay, that's cute. Maybe I've I've seen a movie that talks about dolphin and humans. They actually talked and act and the movie was the dolphin was saving the human being from danger. Wow, it can save lives. Yeah, yeah. I heard it before. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. So let's move on. So these are kinds of pets that people love. First, hamster. 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 Yes, this is a hamster. Is it popular in your city? Oh, I have no interest in with mouse. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So got it. So let's, all right, so let's read this sentence here. They are cute and agile. Can you read it, please? Agile. 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 Yes, they move so quickly. Agile. Agile. So agile means they move quickly. Or they can move easily. Okay, that's agile. Can you say that again? Agile. Agile. All right, fantastic. Next word we have here, they move our... Lovely and easy to feed. Good. Okay, next is... They are friendly and mini-sized. Wow, mini-sized. Have you seen a teacup dog? Teacup dog? <laughs> Uh, it's too small. Dog. I can't think, I can't, I don't know exactly what the English name of the small dog, but uh, like you mentioned, it's uh, probably, I have seen, the, uh, seen this before. Yes. Yeah. So small dog, we can call it a mini sneaker. Yeah, it's like, this is a type of dog we're in. It's the size of a teacup. So that's why we, they call it teacup dog. Well, <laughs> Yes. No, I think I think it won't grow. This is the size. <laughs> yes. Yes, even though it's it's a baby or a puppy, but it won't grow. I think this is the actual size. Maybe one year or two years old teacup dog. It is the actual size. Wow. Okay. Nice. Teacup dog. Maybe you want to take care of teacup dog or maybe give us a gift to your kids. Do you have kids? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I How many kids do you have? Anyway. <laughs> Only one? Daughter or son? Yeah. Okay, got it. Next is a rabbit. Mm -hmm. Turtle and a spider. Let's read the sentence, please. Turtle and spider. They are fluffy and uh, tame. Tame, right? Yes. Can you please say it? Fluffy. What's the meaning of fluffy? Fluffy. Flu fluffy. It's fluffy. Yes. Fluffy means soft. <laughs> they are soft. Yes, fluffy. They are soft. Okay, next is tame. Tame. Tame means they are not wild or they are not dangerous. These rabbits, okay, this kind of rabbit is not dangerous. So that's why they are fluffy and tame. Okay, what, what, 
other animals do you think are fluffy and tame? Fluffy, fluffy cat. Okay. Cat? Yes, yes. Can be, can be fluffy and tame. Cat. Cool. Okay, dogs as well. <laughs> yes, dogs. Okay. They are fluffy and tame. Teacup dog. Okay, teacup dog. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, <a> teacup dog. <laughs> okay, do you think lions are fluffy and tame? Oh, sorry. I, nope. I lions? Your... Lion? Do you think lions are fluffy and tame? Mm, when they are <laughs> very, very small. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes. I agree with that. You can touch them. Okay. A lion, baby. Wait. There's a word. Oh, a cub. A lion baby is a cub. We call it a cub. Yeah, a baby. Yes, cub. It's it's called a cub. Okay, got it. Next is they are likable and uh, long life, long live. Wow. Yes, turtles. Like how many years does a turtle live? Hundred years, maybe. <laughs> how many years? <laughs> Take a guess. A hundred years. Okay, so maybe seventy years. Seventy years. Yes. Years. Yeah, seventy years. Or maybe, yeah, you have said earlier, a hundred years. Not sure. But they are can live long. Uh, some, some of them depends on what kind of the turtles. Yes, or what kind of environment? Yes, what kind of environment they are living in? Wow, this spider. They are cool. An individual. Ah, uh, okay. They are cool and individual. Do you think, what type of spider is this? I'm not familiar with this spider. <laughs> <laughs> I yes. Okay. Uh, my friend likes to take care of spiders. So that's why I've, I've touched one, but I'm not that. Uh, confident to touch it again <laughs> without him. It is a tarantula. Tarantula spider. Tarantula. Yes, tarantula. Yes. Tarantula. Tarantula. Yes. Okay, and there are, you think, thousand? Thousand of species? Yes. Type of spider. It's creepy. <laughs> Have you tried touching a spider before? Have you touched a spider before? No. Okay. What was a dangerous animal you touched? Uh, dangerous animal. Yeah, it's the most dangerous. The animal. All the spider is dangerous animal. Some of them is uh, it's quite uh, tame. Uh, also, uh, they're they're all look it's not very friendly for us. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But some of them is. And have you do you like going to the zoo sometimes? Do you like visiting a zoo yeah. park? Yes. And can you touch animals in the zoo? Can you touch them? Really depends on what kind of animals. If, um, like sheep, dog, cat, it's okay. Mm -hmm. But for the tiger, wild lion, animals, <laughs> uh, you can't touch them. Animals, yeah, yeah. No. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
but I saw some videos online. Like, they tried touching it, and I think it was a gorilla. The gorilla grabbed the hand. Yes, the gorilla grabbed the hand of the 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 man, and I think it won't let go. <laughs> so yes, yes, that was a, a danger. <laughs> yes, the gorilla likes him. <laughs> You know, I, I tell you a real story for myself. And when I mm -hmm. last time to travel to Nepal, 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 do you know that country? Okay. Yes, yes. Nepal. Uh, Nepal? Uh, they, have, uh, they have a temple. They have the mm -hmm. temple. It's very famous for the Buddha. It's called the Monkey Temple. Monkey wow. Temple in Kathmandu, the, the capital city of the Nepal. And uh, when I go okay. there, it's like the, what's the meaning of the, its name? It have a lot of monkey there, so it's called Whoa, a really? temple. If you if you take some fruit in your bag, this monkey will will rub your your your, your bag <laughs> with this fruit. Yeah, it's wow. Easy, yeah. So okay. If, if you didn't want them to get a bag, they will hurt you. Maybe sometimes. Oh, okay. So it's full of basically it's full of monkeys inside. So I've searched it here. Is this right? Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, this way. <laughs> monkey temple. Yeah, yeah it's a monkey temple. Yeah. I can see like hundreds of monkeys all around. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I like monkeys, by the way. Yes, when I was younger, uh, my, my dad usually... Uh, they get a monkey from mountain and he will take care of it and bring it to the city. But it's not, it's illegal to bring monkey to, to take care as a pet. It's illegal in my city. How about in your city? Is it legal to, to have a, to have a monkey pet? Uh, so, so if you want to take the monkey as a pet, I think it's, uh... It's okay, and uh, I don't know if the, our law is uh, uh, can can be forbid uh, can forbid uh, for take a monkey as a cat. I have no I idea. I see. It. Yes, yes. Okay. Got it. Thank you. So let's try to read this part here. My favorite ha animals. My favorite animals are hamsters. Because they are many sides and agile, 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 and they yes. make me want to protect the environment. Besides, they like to run around the wheel. They usually look active and happy, which always cheers me up. Okay, that's why a lot of people. Love, I'm out. I mean, in your city. What type of pets do you do Chinese people have in their house? Dog and cat. Dog and cat. Okay. I mean fish. How about fish? Yeah. Fish. Fish and uh, bird fish. maybe. I don't know. A bird? No, bird. No. no. Uh, we didn't take that bird. Uh, I think the uh, the most popular uh, pet is uh, uh, dog. dog. You know, dog is uh, uh, a good friend with the uh, uh, with the with the people, right? You can uh, yes, yes. take the dog for a walk after the meal, and you also can mm -hmm. play with the dog. So uh, if you have the fish. You can't take the fish to have a walk right after the meal. <laughs> <laughs> you only can take the fish That's to funny. Have the pet, yeah. You, you can also, you, you, you didn't, you have no uh, idea with communicate with the fish as well, I think. Mm -hmm. But you have the way, a very simple way to uh, play with the dog. It can give, uh, make you have, uh, uh, can bring you some happiness uh, for, uh, yes. uh, for the dog. Okay, got it. 
but you can bring a fish, but make sure you bring a ball with you. <laughs> a ball. Yes, a ball to, to let your neighbor see that you have a fish. Okay, got it. So how about panda? Can you take care of a panda in your house? Can you welcome a panda as your pet? No, 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 no. It's illegal, illegal, illegal. Yeah. <laughs> panda. <laughs> yes, no. your national animal is a panda, right? Okay, so why panda? What does it represent? Mm, it's uh, represents uh, for the unique, for the peace. I mm -hmm. think only China have the panda, right? So I think it yes. uh, represents the uh, unique, unique. And uh, another one is the peace. Peace is for, you know, the, the, the panda is very cute. And the yes, very, yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, the, the personality is very, very soft and uh, yes, yes. Can, and also the all look is good as well as a, as a pet, but it's illegal in our country. <laughs> but if you own a pet, um, okay. <laughs> yes, got it. So you can also use kind hearted, or maybe they are tender hearted, tender hearted, right? Tender, yeah, yeah. Yes, tender hearted. Okay, tender -hearted. nice. I haven't seen a panda in my whole life. I haven't seen one in person. But in some movies, <laughs> they are cute. And yes, my wife loves panda. So when I when his when her birthday comes, I usually buy her panda panda stuff like teddy. Teddy pandas, shirts, jacket. Yes, people love panda in my country. Cool. Maybe I, I'll visit China and the first thing I'll do is to visit a zoo. Where can you see a panda in your city? In the zoo. In the oh, do you have a zoo in your city? I think the big city uh, for uh, uh, the zoo is very cool, common in uh, in the big city of China. Mm -hmm. Every big city have the uh, have the, the zoo here. Yeah. Okay, nice. All right, thank you for sharing. Now let's move on. Why do people keep pets? Can you give me some reasons why? I, okay, I think it's. Um, because uh, the people is uh, very, uh, for the busy people, it's uh, very uh, nervous, uh, not, not intense uh, for the daily work. After that, if they have a pet, they can uh, play with pets to uh, mm -hmm. uh, to reduce the stress. Uh, okay. To feel comfortable with uh, yeah with with the with the pet. Yeah. Yes, one of the good thing of having a pet, it relieves stress. Yes, yeah. it relieves stress. <laughs> okay, and you also have a partner, right? A partner wherein you can play with your pet. Got it. And we, you can also exercise with your pet. Like special, specifically when you have a dog or something like can walk, you can go for a walk with your pet. So that's a good way to exercise. Okay. And it ease loneliness, specifically when you're alone, especially when you're alone, it can ease loneliness. Yes. Got it. So, wow, this ends our topic. Do you have any more questions? Yes, it was really great talking with you. Okay, thank you, thank you. Yeah. Yes, all right, so these ends our topic. Thank you so much. Have a great day, Louise, and enjoy your day. Yes, goodbye. See you later.